Hello, welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. I'm Lisa Kersey. Welcome. This is my first YouTube live stream event. I am excited to be here with you. Bear with me if there's any technical issues at my end while well, I'm still learning how all this works. Those of you that have watched me over on Facebook, I'm so glad that you've joined me today. Hop in and say hi. And if you would, if you've got questions along the way, please pop in and type them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them during the live stream as long as I can see them. I also want to introduce you to my virtual YouTube live assistant. Her name is Megan. So you may see her every once in a while answer something that I may miss. So everyone say hi to Megan. Also, too, I know some of you have actually had some issues with notifications and not quite sure how to subscribe or where the bell is. And there might even be some issues with the chat. Just keep in mind that we're going to address all those in the coming weeks as we move forward. So please be patient with us. I have got lots of great things to share with you tonight. I am super excited. Tonight's live is all about the colors. The new colors Stampin' Up! is coming out with. I've got product to show you and I've got tips on those new ink pads that are being introduced. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So I'm gonna flip you down to the stamp table. And while I do that, there's kind of an ugly view on the way down, so bear with me. If you get dizzy, close your eyes, here we go. Get a nice ceiling shot there, don't you? All right, let me just move you in just a little bit closer. And I've got another LED light here. That's gonna kind of help. Hi, everyone. I am glad that you're here to join me. I um, just wanna refresh my screen so I can see your comments along the way. I'm so glad that you've joined me. The color stack that I have here are actually products that are retiring. Um, starting on June 1st, these are going to be gone. And I want to go over them with you because I know a lot of you that are avid paper crafters may have these in your artillery and you're wondering, geez, what's going on with the huge lengthy retired list? So I want to be able to give you some information so that you can do better planning as we move ahead towards the new catalog products that are going to be unveiled on June 1st. All right, so the first of the colors that are retiring is this one. This is Sweet Sugar Plum. So I'm gonna put some larger pieces here so that you can see them. The next one here, this is Peek a Boo Peach and Emerald Envy and Dapper Denim. Now I'm gonna take a quick pause. These four colors are actually part of the current in colors. So those are going to be gone starting on June 1st. There is one color that is actually being carried over to the new color palette that Stampin' Up! is introducing, and that's the Flirty Flamingo. So these four colors are the in colors that are retiring this year, and those will be gone, All right? Now let's move on to some others. Now this piece I've got a little bit smaller because I've actually used quite a bit of it. This is Wisteria Wonder. That one's going as well. And then next we have Wild Wasabi. And... We have a soft sky, pink pirouette, marina mist, tempting turquoise. Have you seen some of your favorites yet? Tangerine tango, chocolate chip, rose red, perfect plum, island indigo, elegant eggplant and the last one is always artichoke now before you get too disappointed about the ones that are leaving i have some great news for you their colors that are coming to replace these are absolutely fabulous you're going to love them my best advice for you is if you see a color here that you absolutely love and know you cannot live without now is the time to purchase it as well as the refills for the colors you may already have. So let's say for instance, you already have Island and Go and you wanna make sure that you have a refill for it. Make sure you buy that. The accessories that are on the retired list are only available while supplies last. And that's really important because I'm gonna tell you, as we get closer to the end of this retired list, these items are gonna to start to be depleted if they haven't already, I didn't check yet today. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you load up on those, including any of the coordinating accessories. So perhaps maybe it's the 
um, coordinating ribbon, or maybe it's the coordinating designer series paper. Make sure that you get those now because it never fails. June 1st, someone's like, oh no, I should have gotten them. And then they didn't. So there's just a little tip for you as far as the retired list is concerned. All right, I'm gonna slide that over to the side. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about the new colors. First, let's talk about the black and the basic gray, specifically the basic black and the basic gray. I wanna clear some of this up. They are both on the retired list and quite a few people have actually been asking me, you're kidding me, they're retiring these. Well, the answer is yes, but hold on, let me explain. The basic black and the basic gray are gonna be gone starting on June 1st. They're both archival quality. If you already own them, make sure that you order your ink refills while they're still in stock, all right? The basic black is being replaced with the stays on ink pad. Now we used to have this in our um, selection of products a year or so ago, and it was retired. We're bringing it back. Now some of you may be asking why. Well, a couple of reasons. This is very slow to dry, and depending on where you live, it's even slower to drive. Now, I, I live in Florida, <laughs> and ink is very slow to dry here because of the humidity level. Those of you that live in drier climates may say, well, I've never had a problem with that. Why are they retiring it? This overall is gonna be a much better ink pad for the broad scope of things that you can stamp. So let me give you an example. It is not just great for paper. It is also wonderful for any surface, tiles, cork, aluminum foil. Think of the holidays when you can actually be able to stamp product and know, um, I'm sorry, stamp images and know that they're going to stay forever. This is a solvent-based ink and it has a separate ink refill that will be available for it. Now let's talk a little bit about another black ink pad that's also going to be continuing and that's the memento pad so this is one we already sell that's not going away it's staying around and this is my black ink pad of choice especially for photopolymer it is a water-based ink you're not going to want to use it um, if you're going to be doing water coloring with your aqua painter or your blender pen and so therefore you're going to want to make sure that you keep this specifically for photopolymer if you'd like to keep your stamps less stained like i do but not for water coloring purposes if you're going to use the Stampin' Blends, which are the alcohol-based markers, this is the ink pad of choice because this water-based ink will not bleed into the alcohol markers, okay? And then Basic Gray. The archival quality of Basic Gray is literally going away. However, the color of Basic Gray is actually staying around and it's gonna become what we call a classic ink pad. So just like all the other colors. Now I'm excited to show you some of the new colors and I've got great news for you too. All right, so you ready? I'm gonna show you a few at a time. We have, this is brand new, Pineapple Punch. Is this not just awesome? I love this yellow. This is not one of those striking, crazy looking yellows. This is a beautiful, bright sun yellow. You're gonna absolutely love that. But do you see the difference already? Okay, we're gonna talk about that in just a second. So here's one of the new in colors for 2018, 2020. Then there is this one, Grapefruit Grove. I actually happen to have a piece of that cardstock here. So you can see that the label on this pad is nearly identical in color to the cardstock. Stampin' Up! did a, a, just a fantastic job with the color coordination here so you can get a good idea of what it's gonna look like. So that's Grapefruit Grove. Those are two of the new in colors. The third one is called Call Me Clover. For you green lovers out there, this is not as deep as Emerald Envy, but it's a beautiful green. You are gonna absolutely love that. And next is Blueberry Bushel. For those of you that are sad to see the Dapper Denim go, this is very closely related. It's a, it's a little bit brighter. It's gonna make a great denim blue as well. So that's four of them. And the last one, this could very well be my new favorite. This is Lovely Lipstick. Isn't that pretty? Just so pretty. So these are going to be the new in colors for 2018 to 2020. Now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the ink pad case. Do you see the difference here? Here's one of the existing ones that you probably already own. Do you see the size and the depth difference? 
Now we've redesigned the stamp cases. Now you might be asking why? So I'm gonna tell you why. Stampin' Up! knew they were gonna be doing a color refresh, obviously well before we did. And at the same time, they also knew that the, the mold that makes this plastic case was nearing its life expectancy. Now they only make so many plastic cases from one mold and then it has to be reconfigured. Now they could have reconfigured it just the same, but they decided to do the new color palette and the new ink pad style all at the same time. And quite frankly, I'm thrilled to be honest with you because you are going to love this over this. And if they had done them separately, that would have just cost you more money because you're gonna want the new ink pad, plus you would have wanted all the new colors. So this is just a great way to cover all of our bases at once. So let's talk about the difference here first. I think that's the most important thing. You can see we've got about, oh, maybe a quarter inch difference in the depth. Obviously, look at the width. This is a little bit narrower than this one. You're gonna find that the existing pads have a notch here and here. These are completely flat. And here's the other reason I love that. You can actually stack, are you ready? Five high without them all toppling over. That's another great thing. So if you'd like to take them to a friend's or to a crop or a paper crafting day, they're gonna be a lot easier to transport than these which would slide all over because they didn't stack neatly. All right, so that's just one of the features on this. The other feature on them is this. They're gonna be a lot easier to open. I have so many people say to me, I cannot figure out how to open this thing because literally it's a push, it's a flip, and it's a lock, and then it's a reverse type of thing to close it. Good news. This now opens like a makeup compact case. So I prefer to put my two thumbs here and just open it. Now just look how much easier that is than the whole push thing, okay? So you're gonna actually just lift it. The ink pad itself, the color, the pad construction is identical to this. There is absolutely no reason for you to be replacing your ink pads to get the new style unless you absolutely just hate these and need to go this way. Otherwise, the ink itself inside is exactly the same. The only thing, thing that has changed is the case. They did add a little bit of what we call a defomer to the new formula of the ink pads. And you're gonna find that if you live in certain climates, that when you go to ink them up, you're not gonna have like maybe little bubbles that you may have experienced before. And I know some of you are already gonna ask me, can we use the existing ink refills? Then the answer would be yes. So if you have the new ink pads, obviously those ink refills will work. But what if you have an existing color and you need a new ink refill? By all means, you can use them. This does not apply to the basic gray. Remember, we just talked about that a second ago. Remember this one. This is an archival pad. So if you have the ink refill for this, you cannot put this in the new basic gray, which is actually going to be a classic pad. Two different types of inks. I wanna make sure that I'm clear on that. All right, also let me talk to you a little bit about this. Just like anything that's plastic, when it's new, it's, you know, it's a little bit harder to slide, so, but don't let that discourage you, all right? I don't know about you, but we recently had bought a new cooler. You know, living in Florida, the beach, the summer months, we enjoy all of that. So my husband decided, let's get a new cooler. Well, for the life of me, I could not get that plastic lid to open without really prying it. But after numerous uses, it got easier and easier. Well, this plastic is no different. So you're gonna see that it doesn't slide quite as easily in the very beginning, which you would have noticed with this as well. The other thing about this is I'm gonna give you a crazy silly tip that worked like, like slick. I'm telling you what, you're gonna love it. I was frustrated because I wanted them to slide as good as the one that I've had for what, eight years. I've had these pads for eight years. They just slide without any problem. But if you had this pad, you may have noticed that sometimes that these two pieces became dislodged. And that was another reason they decided to change the actual mold on these ink pads to eliminate that separation. It was such a common incident that I actually created a YouTube video on how to put them back together seriously. So you ready for my crazy tip that works like crazy? All right, this is a birthday candle. There is a track in here, right here, that this little nub travels in to open and close the pad. All I did was I took that birthday candle and I ran it up the track here and up the track here. I just happen to have a white candle in my artillery here at the house. Any color will work, it doesn't have to be white. And then what I did is I kind of gave this a tap 
on my work surface so that if there was any little tiny shavings of wax, it would just be gone. But I'm gonna tell you what, this has aided with the sliding so much better. And there's a little tiny click at the end so that you know that it's locked in place. Can you still use them upside down to ink really large background stamps? You absolutely can because look, there's a little groove here for your hands. Now let's talk about closing them, all right? This little area here is smaller than the original area. So let me show you, see how this is larger? I have tiny hands, but I know a lot of people don't and I know some of you have longer fingernails than I have. So you may find this a little bit more challenging. The design was so that you would push it from the back. See how it releases it? And then look what happens. It gives you a little bit of area here to pull and then to close and it closes just like a compact. So once again, you're going to separate it with your two thumbs and then it's gonna slide in. And again, to close it, you're gonna push from the back and then slide forward. Now, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about this because I have people who are like, you've got to be kidding, I need to add wax to this. No, you don't have to. This is just a little like what I'm calling problem solving technique. And let me liken it to this. How many of you purchase brand new photopolymer stamps? This is just an example. And you've ever inked up a solid image in a regular colored ink pad and it just doesn't look solid. That's because photopolymer typically needs to be primed very much like what I'm talking about here with a little bit of candle wax the very first time you use it. You only have to do this one time. What I tell my customers, and I actually have a video on this, is prime your photopolymer stamps with Versamark. So ink up the stamp in Versamark, stamp it on some scratch paper and do that numerous times and then clean your stamp. Then what's going to happen is when you go to ink it on a colored pad, you're going to find the coverage is so much better. And you will thank me for giving you this tip because it makes all the world of difference to prime that photopolymer solid image for the first time. And that's basically what we're doing here with these brand new ink pads. We are just priming that track to make it easier for you if it needs it. Now, not every pad and plastic case is just going to slide difficult. I actually, quite a, to be honest with you, this one here I absolutely had no trouble with whatsoever. You can see that one just slides like slick. But keep in mind they are plastic. And just like anything that's plastic, it's going to need to be broken in. All right, now on the back, there is a color label. Here's another great change that we made. I know that's going to be difficult to see probably in the video because it's kind of a light color, but I saved this one specifically to show you how this works. I'm using my paper piercing tool just to kind of help me lift this, but there are different labels here and different languages. Obviously we have English and we have other languages that Stampin' Up! sells in other countries, but there's one here at the bottom that's blank and let me show you what that's for. First, let's start with the one that's in English. And I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, they are sticky. So bear with me here while I try to pull it off. And of course, you're watching me, so that makes it all the more difficult, right? So I'm gonna stick that on the edge of my table and hope I can get back to that. And I've got one stuck to my hand I didn't need, bear with me. They're meant not to come off, that's for sure. So here's the one that's in English, Pineapple Punch, and that goes right down here and that little lip of the ink pad here at the bottom. And of course I put on just a hair crooked. There we go. Just wanna make sure you can open and close your pad. All right, let's go ahead and slide this. Do you see this spot right here? Oh, that's what the solid one is for. And I'm telling you what, I am super happy about this change. And let me tell you why. I don't know how many times that I have had numerous ink pads open, maybe in a shade of green or a shade of blue, and they all look the same. Has that happened to you? I'm sure. So rather than making a mistake, especially when we're stamping with friends and it's kind of like going feverishly, right? Making sure that you know what color it is. So this color swatch goes right inside this little track and my head is far away. And when you get to be my age, you need to be really close. <laughs> so I'm gonna slide that right inside there and I'm gonna use my fingernail and just press that down. The beauty about this now is, is if you have numerous colors open on your work surface, you're gonna be able to see easily which color is which to differentiate them one from the other. I'm absolutely loving that feature. And I've got good news for you about these new in colors. I know you're gonna be happy when you hear this. These five colors are all gonna be part of a pre-release special that you're gonna be able to take advantage of starting on May 1st. 
they will be available for you to purchase in the five pack. You are gonna love getting your hands on these early, so keep that in mind, that's gonna be available. It is just the ink pads, it will not include the cardstock. Along with that, starting May 1st, there are three bundles revolving around the same product and different price ranges for you to choose from aside from this. So those, those, those three bundles plus this, all as a pre-release. Those bundles will not be available after May 31st. So you will need to purchase them in May if you want one of them because otherwise they're gonna be all a la carte items after that date. So starting on June 1st in the new catalog. But aren't these pretty? I'm super excited about these. You know what? I've been a demonstrator for almost 20 years and every time we get new colors, I'm always sad to see a few go, but I'm always super excited to see new colors. They're fresh, they're popular, and they're gonna go gorgeous with our palette. Speaking of which, you do wanna see some of those new colors, right? I happen to have all the brand new colors in cardstock so you can actually get a good look at them. All right, so let me pull out my little samples here. And I'm still trying to remember all their names, so bear with me, I've got my little cheat sheet next to me here. These are actually part of the Subtles groups. Now we've rearranged everything. So if you were used to one color being in the Subtles group, you can kind of almost kind of erase that thought from your mind because things have been moved around. These colors I'm showing you are just the brand new ones in addition to the ones we're keeping. So keep that in mind. This color from the Subtles is called Soft Seafoam. Isn't this beautiful? It is not mint. It is literally a seafoam color. It's got an undertone of um, green to it, but isn't that pretty? I'm loving that. This next one is a returning in color. We had this once before. This is called Mint Macaron. Some people say Macaroon. This next new one is called Balmy Breeze. I am loving this blue. Isn't that beautiful? And then this last one, for all those purple lovers out there, you're going to absolutely love Highland Heather. Isn't that gorgeous? But here's what I love about them. Don't they go great just together? So these are gonna complement our existing Subtles palette just beautifully. So those are the Subtles, I'm gonna set those aside and let me grab the next one. The next category I have for you here are the Brights. And the first one here is a returning favorite. This is Coastal Cabana. This was an in color several years ago and we have brought it back. I am loving this color. I, I can't describe it. It's not a turquoise and it's not a green. It's somewhere in between. This one's brand new too. How about this? Granny Apple Green. Isn't this gorgeous? Unlike the Lemon Lime Twist, which has more of a yellow base, this has definitely more of a green base to it. Really pretty. Also new is Mango Melody. Oh, look at that. Not an orange and not a yellow. Definitely in between. Aren't these striking? Also, this is Gorgeous Grape. I have to look at the names. I still have to memorize all of these. They're so new. Gorgeous Grape, another beautiful purple. Really a shocking bright purple. And then last but not least, this is called Poppy Parade. This is also a returning in color. So these are gonna be part of the new Brights palette. Those are gorgeous, aren't they? Definitely nice and bright. The next one I have for you here is going to be part of the Regals collection. And we've got three new ones that are gonna be part of the Regals. And this is Shaded Spruce. Isn't that beautiful? An evergreen color, but not as deep as the old artichoke and certainly not like old olive. I just really, really love that. And the other one is Blackberry Bliss. Some of you may have remembered this from a couple years ago. This is a returning in color as well, but look how nice and beautiful those rich colors are. So those are all part of the Regals category. And then last but not least, we have some new neutrals. And I'm really excited about this one. This is called Gray Granite. Yes, Gray Granite. I love the color because I think it's gonna make great masculine cards as well as bases for a real neutral tone. This one, Mary Merlot. My daughter pointed out today, boy, that matches your nail polish almost perfectly. Yeah, it does. I did not plan that. So Mary Merlot. And then this last one here, this is Mossy Meadow. Again, a returning in color that we had once before. So you can see that we've got lots of fun things coming your way. That's for sure. Let me flip you around. Gonna have that ugly view again. Here we go. 
Okay, I am back. I hope you guys are enjoying those new colors and the tips I've given you about the new ink pads as well. Remember, the new catalog begins on June 1st. I've had lots of people ask me, how do I get my hands on the new catalog come June 1st? If you're an existing customer of mine and you have placed an order of $50 or more in product between June 1st of 2017 and April 25th of this month, 2018, you will automatically receive a complimentary copy from me. There's still time to place your order so you can get on that mailing list. Otherwise, I will have catalogs for sale for you. I'll be offering a discounted rate on them, but I'll tell you what, you'll get one for free if you're a brand new customer. You are going to love not just these new colors, but the amazing new products that are coming out. As demonstrators, we've been able to see the new catalog as a preview, and it is darn exciting. That's for sure. Not just new colors and new paper, there's tons of new product. But so important, I'm gonna reiterate this again, do not miss out on getting colors that you absolutely love that you have because they will work with these colors. Don't get rid of them. They're gonna work well with this new color palette as well. I'm just checking my list to make sure that I don't miss telling you anything else. Um, if you're here and you've never visited my blog before, you're gonna find in the description bar below a link to my blog. There is a ton of inspiration there. I post two videos a week. There's always a project on a Monday and there's always a quick tip on a Thursday. I share free tutorials every Friday. There's tons of stuff there for you to look at. I also have fun ways for you to stamp with me at home through my online classes tab, so you'll see those there as well. And I offer very generous rewards for online orders, as little as $25. Live events and closed groups that include tutorials and demonstrations and product prizes. And everyone who orders $50 in product or more with me in a given month is going to receive what we call a gift list via email on the 25th of the month. And there I list anywhere from um, 10 to 12 free products that they can choose, any one that they want, and they just fill out the little form, and then I order that product for them and send it to them as free as a thank you for their $50 product order. So again, a $25 threshold all the way up to 50 or more. Keep in mind, stamp and rewards start at $150, which means you're gonna get an additional 10% of your order and free product. I do have a host code. It's pinned just above the shop now button over on my blog. Do not use it if your order's large, $150 or more, because I want you to redeem those rewards for yourself. But the host code collects those orders together and allows me to give you those free products as a thank you. All right, don't forget to follow me over on Facebook because you know what, Monday, yes, this coming Monday, April 23rd, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the same time that we were here live today, I'm gonna be over on my Facebook page doing a product demonstration for you with an amazing project. It is a 3D project. I was just thinking, is it in the background that you can see it? Oh, maybe just a hair, just a hair. And you're gonna love it. It's just a twist on something that you may not have thought of. And I'm excited to share that with you. So make sure you head over to my Facebook business page. It's lisasstampstudio.com on Facebook. Like and follow me there so that you do not miss the notifications and that you can join us live at 8 p.m. on Monday. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd like to encourage you to do that. If you're here on a desktop version, there should be a little bell next to the subscribe button once you click it. Click on the bell as well, then it'll give you notifications when I've posted a new video as well as when I'm live. Now, I know that on a mobile version, on a phone, I think and it's an iPad and a Kindle, that's a little bit different. I'm still trying to figure out the technicalities of that, so bear with me and I'll share that information with you as I learn myself. I think that's it. Share the video with friends on social media and get them tuned in to all the cool new colors and the tips that live real soon, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.